In our journey through the machining, we've explored the precision and artistry involved in shaping zinc, magnesium, and various plastics. But our exploration doesn't end there. There will never be a shortage of copper materials in the field of machining, today we will talk about copper machining. In copper machining, from cutting techniques to tool selection, every detail matters. Efficient part design is key, especially given copper's unique properties like thermal conductivity. It's no wonder copper finds its place in heat exchangers, lasers, and electrical systems. Choosing the right grade, like copper 101 or copper 110, can make all the difference. While copper 101 boasts purity, copper 110 shines in machinability and electrical conductivity. Machining copper, with its unique properties, is enhanced when alloyed with elements like zinc. Techniques like CNC milling and turning are commonly used. Please note that proper tool selection and speed adjustments are vital for precision in shaping copper components. Designing with copper requires strategic choices due to its unique properties and cost. Whether using pure copper or its more machinable counterpart, C110, it's crucial to adhere to design principles for optimal precision and efficiency. Finally, let's find out what parts or products can be produced by the copper machining process. From mechanical components like heat exchangers and bearings to electrical elements such as bus bars, the precision and finish achieved in copper machining are paramount. Adjusting parameters, like the tool's nose radius, ensures optimal surface quality, while post-processes like hand polishing and electro polishing enhance the final product's appearance. The experts at ProtoTool have lots of copper machining and useful tips about copper material. If you want to learn more, feel free to click the link in the video description below.